هيدا الهدوء من بعد العاصفة هيدا الهدوء من بعد العاصفة This is the calm after the storm Hi everyone, marhaba, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. Today is day 20 in our 30 day challenge. I promised you that I will be uploading one lesson every single day for a period of 30 days. So I hope you've been making the most of these lessons. I hope you've been benefiting and I hope you've been studying as much as you can. Try to do this on a daily basis. It really helps you improve your language and takes your language from here to another level. Before we begin, let me ask you to subscribe to my channel if you're finding my lessons useful also you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram because I also upload lessons there almost on a daily basis um, as I showed you outside looks a bit calmer today because we had a very big storm that hit the UK for the past three days it looks better now hopefully it stays like that so if you heard me say the sentence that I was saying I said الهدوء من بعد العاصفة الهدوء Hudu means calmness. El hudu, the calmness. El hudu min ba'd, after. In Arabic, you don't just say after, you say from after. Min ba'd, el asfi. Asfi means storm. El asfi means the storm. Hayda el hudu min ba'd el asfi. This is the calm after the storm. So, in order to say that there was a storm in the UK, Kain fi asfi bi Britannia. Kain fi is there was. If you want to say there is in Arabic, you say fi. There was, you add the word kain before fi. So, kain fi asfi. Kain fi asfi bi Britannia. There was a storm in Britain. Bi Britannia. And kain it hayd al asfi ktir awiye. This storm was very strong. Can it was in the feminine form because the word storm asfi is a feminine word. So can it hide asfi? This storm was in Arabic. It's like you're saying was this storm instead of this storm was. So can it hide asfi? very strong that's why today we're gonna talk about anything related to cold weather let's begin with the first term cold simply cold barid if you want to say it's cold you can do this and you can say barid or bardiktir barid now if you're talking about the weather you say barid but if you're talking about let's say water cold water we don't say my barid no we usually say my msa'a msa'a is masculine msa'a and msa'a with the te marbuta in the end that's feminine so when we're talking about drinks we would say my msa'a or if we're talking about food we can say el akil the food msa'a that's masculine el akil msa'a my msa'a so msa'a and msa'a are for not the weather but for maybe drinks liquids but if you're talking about the weather i wouldn't say the weather is cold i would just say so there are differences in these terms let's talk about them so you don't get confused first of all if i want to say it's cold i just say barid but if I want to say the weather is cold, I would say الطأس بارد So بارد بارد It's different الطأس بارد أنا بردني أنا بردني I am cold. So you see, there's already three ways of using the word cold when it comes to the weather. If you're just going to say cold, بارد بارد if you want to say the weather is cold, التأسبيرد. and if you want to say I am cold, I said in my case the feminine word بردني. I When I say بردني, it means I am cold, the whole thing together. أنا بردني. And if it's masculine, you would say أنا بردين. أنا بردين. You can also say, of course, أنا بردين كتير. Or you can say التأسبيرد كتير. Or 
Simply in general, you can just say berdiktir. Let's go to the second term, which is when it's very, very cold. You would say jalid in Lebanese Arabic. That's how we say it, jalid. And when I go like that, and if I want to say berdiktir, the other level would be jalid. And jalid comes from the word ice, icy. So when I say jalid, it doesn't just mean it's very, very cold, it's freezing cold, but it actually also means, you know, the layer of ice that you see on the streets after a night that was very, very cold. So that's jalid also. So it's two, uh, two things we use one word for jalid, which is on the streets, the icy layer, and also jalid when the weather is very very cold. The third term for today is clouds, rium. If it's one cloud you say reime, reime, and the plural of cloud is rium, reime, rium. But if you want to say cloudy you would say reim, reim. But this term is not too formal but maybe a little bit formal when it comes to speaking Arabic because when I'm speaking to my friends I don't usually say I say there are lots of clouds there are or there is a lot clouds it's very cloudy or literally there are lots of clouds let's go to the third term which is partly cloudy we would say reim jizian. Jiz means part. Jizian means partly. Jiz jizian. Reim jizian. Partly cloudy. Again, this is a term you would most probably hear at the end of the news when they're reading the weather forecast. But if it's with my friends, I would say fi shwayit riyum. There are a few clouds. Fi there are shwayit riyum. Shway shwayit. Rium, a few clouds or a little bit of clouds. That's what it means. Fishwayit rium. The next term, number four, that's rain and rainy. Rain in Lebanese Arabic is shite. Shite. You can also use the word matar, but in Lebanese Arabic we use shite more than matar. Matar would be used in other Arabic countries and in the standard Arabic language. But in this case we would say shite. And if it's rainy, you would use matr, matr, but again, I wouldn't use matr in Lebanese Arabic. I would probably say ambitchette, it's raining, ambitchette. The next term is snow and snowy. Snow is telij. Telij. It also means ice, the ice cubes that you put in your drinks or in your water. So that's also telij. But when I say telij, it also means snow. So, fiktir telij, there is a lot of snow. You can also say ta'as mitlij. We don't really use mitlij because it comes from the standard Arabic word which is muthlij. In standard Arabic, we do say ta'as muthlij. But in Lebanese Arabic, we don't usually say ta'as mitlij. It sounds a bit strange when I'm saying this. Maybe I would say am titluj. Am btitluj. Btitluj is it snows. Am btitluj is it's snowing. Am titluj. And if you want to say, for example, tomorrow it's going to be snowy or it's going to snow, you say bukra rah titluj. Bukra rah titluj. Tomorrow it's going to snow. The same applies, for example, if you want to say rainy, tomorrow is rainy, you would say bukra rah chette. Bukra rah chette. It will rain. We mentioned that storm is asfi, and if I want to say the weather is stormy, I would say asif, asif, ta'is asif. Again, it's not so commonly used when it comes to the spoken language. I would say fi asfi if it's now, and if it's tomorrow, for example, I can say rah ikun fi asfi, rah ikun fi, there will be. Memorize this. رح يكون في there will be رح يكون في عاصفة بكرة there will be a storm tomorrow and by the way if you want to say there was كان في عاصفة مبارح كان في عاصفة مبارح there was في عاصفة اليوم there is a storm today رح يكون في عاصفة بكرة there will be a storm tomorrow the next term is lightning lightning is برق 
Barq. It's written in standard Arabic as Barq with a Qaf, but in Lebanese Arabic you always change this Qaf. 99% of the times you would change this Qaf into a uh sound. Barq. Barq. Which means lightning. Now, when it comes to thunder, we wouldn't say Barq. We would say Ra'ad. 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 And it's usually used together. For example, Barq wa Ra'ad. Barq wa Ra'ad or Ra'ad wa Barq. And also we say Am Tirrud. Am Tirrud. If it's in this moment, you would say we have a verb for it. We say Am Tirrud. Literally, it's thundering. So Am Tirrud. Or, but we don't usually say Am Tibru. Tibru. But you know, when I say tibru, it also means like it's glittering or it's shining. If it's jewelry, I can say am bibru silsil, for example, my necklace is shining or something. Am bibru silsil. So bir, it also means something that is shining because it's lightning, it shines. So bir, we don't usually say am tibru when it's related to the weather. And ra'ad, we do say am tirad. It's thundering. Okay, next is hail. And hail is barad. Barad. It's not bird. It has a fatha on the ra. Barad. Barad. Which means hail. And if you want to say it's hailing, we say am bitshatte barad. Which means it's raining hail. Am bitshatte barad. Am bitshatte barad. It's hailing. Now, if it's windy, if there is wind, you would say fi hawa, fi hawa. Hawa means wind, fi hawa means there is wind. Fi hawa awe, there is strong wind. Fi hawa awe, you can also say fi hawa awe ktir, there is very strong wind. Now, in standard Arabic, we say riyah. And in Lebanese Arabic, you could also use riyah, riyah. And this is the word you might hear when you're listening to the weather forecast, riyah. But when it comes to the spoken language, we don't usually use riyah. We use hawa awe more than riyah. And if you want to say windy, there is a word for it. It comes stan from standard Arabic and from the word storm. We would say asif, asif, stormy or also windy. But we don't usually say asif when it's windy because sometimes there is wind, but there's no storm. So I would say fi ktir hawa or fi hawa awe, there is strong wind. Now, when it's soft wind in the summer, for example, the nice cool wind, you would say nasim, nasim. And there's a very nice song from our, uh, from our legend, Fairuz. I will keep the link in the description box below. It says, nassam alayna al hawa. Nassam alayna al hawa. Literally, it breathed on us, alayna al hawa the wind which means there was soft wind nassam alayna al hawa that's why the word nasim also means uh, the the soft breeze basically okay what would you say when it's foggy or there's fog fog in standard arabic would be dabab dabab this is not commonly used in lebanese arabic we usually use the word ghtayta gh Ghtaita. Ghtaita. Ghtaita means fog. And when you want to say it's foggy, you could say fi ghtaita ktir. There is a lot of fog and you can't see. Fi ghtaita. But we also use mghatagta. 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 Which means it's foggy. For example, if I want to say there is a lot of fogs or it's very foggy and I can't drive the car. Mghatagta ktir. ما عم بقدر سوق. I am unable to drive. ما عم بقدر. عم بقدر is I am able to. ما عم بقدر. I am unable to. ما عم بقدر سوق. I am unable to drive. Let me repeat this. في غطيتا كتير. ما عم بقدر سوق. Or مغطغطا كتير. ما عم بقدر سوق. When we use مغطغطا, there is this hidden word that we don't use, which is Literally, literally, you are saying the world is foggy. You don't really mean the world, but you mean more like 
the atmosphere okay or the weather basically a dunya now we also mentioned that the ice when it's icy in the streets uh, we would say jalid for example in the morning after a very very rainy night and very very cold night it would be icy so that's jalid okay so for example i can say my car slid because there was a lot of ice in the street so i would say zahatit 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 means it slid zahatit siyarti zahatit siyarti lannu kan fi ktir jalid because there was a lot of ice zahatit siyarti my car lannu because kan fi there was ktir jalid a lot of um, ice and finally of course because we've been talking about the winter the least we can do is say what is winter winter in arabic is shite just like the rain rain is shite but also winter is shite shite but we also have the word shatwiye 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 means um, winter you can either say just shite or you can say fasl shite fasl means season of rain which means season of winter so the way you're saying it fasl il shite pronounced as fasl shite always with a liaison whenever there is this l so fasl shite winter or just shite winter or shatwiye which means also winter do we have more terms related to the cold? Oh, let's also say درجة um, الحرارة درجة the degree حرارة means heat the degree of the heat درجة الحرارة عالية we spoke about this in our previous videos when it's hot we say درجة الحرارة عالية but with these weather conditions that we're talking about today we say درجة الحرارة واتية واتية means low درجة الحرارة the temperature is very low and it's very cold i think that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it i really am enjoying these lessons as well if you have any questions always leave them in the comment box below i will try my best to answer them as soon as possible and i'll see you tomorrow in our 21st day of our challenge bye